Well, hello you all. Welcome back to Let's Deal With It. Well, today was a long day. Wasn't an easy day, but praise the Lord, I made it through it. Amen. I just don't even know what to say. <laughs> It is, it's madness, y'all. It's madness. It, it really is. <laughs> oh, man, y'all. It is, folks, is they they out here losing it, y'all. It's, it's very bad. You know, the longer I live, this is, this is what I've, I'm coming to see with folks today. Everywhere. Oh, Lord, help me. I'm a first go here. I'm, I'm going to take a pause for a second. It's cold. <sighs> just take a little deep breath, you all. It's just, <laughs> it's just crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you, folks is losing their minds. They are. That's That's not funny. The funny part is that they want you to lose your mind. And that's funny to me because you can't make me lose my mind. I'm going to keep. As Pastor Dave would say, oh, he was right. Oh, my good. I remember him preaching that message. I must have been in my early 20s. And I remember when he said some, someone was into something or, um, let me see, uh, I don't know what it was, you guys, but excuse me, y'all. I'm just so tired. <laughs> Listen to me, you guys. Okay. Somebody was upset about something. And I remember Pastor Dave said, he was telling the young lady to calm down, you know, and she said, I'm going to give her a piece of my mind. And Pastor Dave said, no. You don't give nobody a piece of your mind. You keep your mind. <laughs> I will never forget that. Never. Oh, man. The more and more I think about it, I say, Lord, please help me. And y'all going to understand why I'm saying this. Because people are so crazy mad. It's, it's more than just crazy. They mad crazy. I am so convinced that people are really being driven by demons. You all, you all, yes, they are. Yes, they are. And you know what's so crazy? My son just told me someone passed away. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, yes. A absolutely. Absolutely. And a whole heap of more getting ready to come out. It's that, it's that, it's that cycle again it's the cycle it is i said it's that cycle again yeah they know what they did with that thing do you oh it's diabolical do you hear me oh we anyway i know i'm looking a bit pale the colder it gets the paler i'm gonna get <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Praise the Lord. So anyway, you all. This is what I'm finding out. Folks have unrealistic expectations of people. Now, we all got expectations. Everybody. But I'm talking about. Ooh, we. You know, folks will hold you at a level of not accountability. That that's not what I'm talking about. It's let me see, because I'm I'm so tired, y'all. I'm ooh, my back is burning. Jesus, have mercy. Uh hold on, y'all. A level of expectation they don't even hold themselves to. Do you hear me? And wouldn't let nobody do it to them, but they want to do it to you. It, it's not going to be me. 
Oh, it's not. I'm not going to be able to do it. <laughs> I'm playing. Folks is crazy. Folks is losing their minds. Yes, they are. And you know what I'm finding out? Then what I'm finding out. Folks is so greedy. Watch this, you all. Watch this. Oh, Lord. Folks is so greedy. They biting off. They biting off more than they can chew. That what happening. That what happening to a whole bunch of businesses, especially in this child care business. Oh yes, it it. Oh we yes it is. Yes it is. And you know what I'm finding out? They're not paying people right. You all. They are wanting people to work themselves into sickness. I'm not going to be able to do it. Yes, you all. Unrealistic expectations. Yes. And you know they're going to pay. While they won't pay folks right, they're going to pay for it. You all, I'm not, I, no. I said, I'm not going to be able to do it. And I'm so tired of everybody hollering Christian and Jesus. Oh, so many scriptures is coming to a clear understanding. To me, it's unreal. When that Bible say, not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of God. He is ooh-wee. I said ooh-wee. It's real. Oh, the people that's going to be the most devastated when they don't go up in this so listen to me. It's going to be the Christians. It's going to be them who really thought they knew the Lord. And look at the way they treat people. You all, it's not going to fly. It's not going to fly, you all. It's not going to work with the Lord. Because if anyone ought to know how to treat folks right, is the believers. Is the one that say they love the Lord and that they is born again. Christians, so many people are religious. They have, you all, it's, I, you all, I ain't got no more words. <laughs> I, I just, oh, it's, I see why Jesus said, when sudden destruction come upon you, I will mock you. When they cry out, Lord, Lord, didn't I do this? Didn't I give a lot of tithes and offerings? Didn't I cast out demons? Didn't I prophesy? Ooh, them going to be the one. I said, oh, yeah. So you all stay close to the Lord. It's over. I just keep hearing more and more of what's going over there in the M to the I to the D, D, L, E to the capital E, A, S, T. It ain't nothing nice. Oh, my, it's not nothing nice. And the Lord said it would be. He said it would be. Why people don't believe their Bible? Well, what you think that is? That's what the Bible said was going to happen over there. Right in that area, he said it would be. And now, Sister Erica, she done sent us all a picture of the Euphrates River. I believe it's the Euphrates River. River, I'm sorry. I'm so tired, y'all. Forgive me. I am exasperated. But I wanted to come on here and tell you all 
I believe she said it was the Euphrates River turning blood red. And people are just going to ignore this stuff. It's, you know, I once seen a comment. It must have been in 2017 when all of us thought the Lord was surely going to come. You know, we really did. We thought this is it. And I don't know who said this comment, but they are right on. The person said, folks going to get what they want, but they not going to like what they get. You all, that's about the size of it. Did you hear me? That's about the size of it. I'm sorry, y'all, but when I'm tired, my head itch, I'm exhausted. And I'm about to get in that bed right now. Oh, I'm going right now and getting a water, hot water bottle and anything else that can help me. <laughs> oh, boy. That's all right. God is a mighty good God. He know what he doing. Once again, once again. Anyway, you all, oh, boy. You all stay close to the Lord. Stay in prayer. Get on your knees. Call out to the Lord to count you worthy to escape all that is about to come upon the entire face of the world. Yes, it is. I, I said, yes, it is. I can't believe how people will believe more in the words of flesh and blood. And they say they're Christians and they not listening to the words of the Holy Son of Yahweh Almighty. They're not even listening to Jesus. Isn't it something? I said, isn't that something? Oh, my. It's okay. Oh, because guess what? I'm going home to be with Jesus. I'm going home to be with Jesus. I'm going home. Oh, I'm going home. I'm going home to be with Jesus. If you don't want to go, don't hinder me. Mm. If you don't want to go, don't hinder me. Because I'm going home. Yes, I'm going home. I'm going home to be with Jesus. If you don't want to go, don't hinder me. If you don't want to go, don't hinder me, because I'm going home, yes, I'm going home, I'm going home to be with Jesus, yes, what's that song? I'm going up a yonder to be with my Lord. If anybody asks you where I'm going, where I'm going soon, <laughs> I'm going up beyond to be with my Lord. I can take the heartache. Oh, yes. I need to learn the rest of the words. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get the picture. Oh, you all. It's so ridiculous in this world. I told somebody. I told a couple of people. I said it shouldn't be this hard to live. I said it shouldn't be this hard to live. And you know why it's getting harder and harder? It's called the tribulation. The tribulation period is coming down the pipe, baby. And I'm talking very soon. Very soon. And while people thinking all is well, oh, wow. I said, oh, wow. Yep, they're going to be the most devastated. They are. Yep, you can see why. 
You can see why, because they thinking all is well. They thinking ain't nothing. Life is going to go on as usual. Them going to be the ones that is most devastated. Especially them Christians that's living their best life now. Them going to be the real ones that's terrified. You can put Michael Myers. What's that other one? Nightmare on Elm Street. I think that's Michael Myers. I don't know you all. Freddy Krueger. The Birdcage. Put them, the Purge. Put all of these pictures together and they still can't touch what's coming. And that tribulation and the great wrath of the almighty Yahweh. From, from, from diabolical Transhumanism, transhumanism, the ones that are part technology and human, to 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 the fallen ones, to the fallen ones that's mixed with human beings, to the reptilians, to the Dracos, to the Anunnakis, and let's not forget the 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 the, the robots. Yeah, you know that movie called I Am Legend? Yeah. Oh, that you think they made that for you all to be entertained? Oh, no. I said, oh, no. Oh, yes. Go look at them pictures again with Will Smith in them. Independence Day. I Am Legend. What else, Lord? Oh, I can't even think of all of them. But he did some very interesting pictures, that Will Smith. <laughs> he know exactly what's getting ready to happen. Most of Hollywood do. Most of Hollywood, they all in it together. You all, this is not the time to play church. It's not the time to play with the Lord. The Bible says the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. Depart from sin and iniquity and do good, do good. Go about doing good. And you know what doing good is? Doing the right thing. Doing the right thing by folks, even if it's your enemies. Oh yes, the Bible says, oh, Come evil with good. Bless those who curse you and despitefully use you. Bless them and do not curse them. And there ain't nothing more blessed you can do than to forgive your enemies and to pray for their souls. Yes. Transhumanism. Yes, that's it. I'm sorry. I wanted to think how to pronounce that better. Transhumanism. And that's what's going to happen to a heap of folks most going just expire and then the ones that's left they just gonna be slaves to the system to the antichrist system that's all they gonna be oh yes i'm telling you the truth I, oh, you all whoever have repented of it god bless you he with you he love you Thank goodness you had the humility and the wherewithal to repent. God bless your soul, your spirit, your mind, and your very being. Don't worry about this body, baby. It's ganked. I said it's gank. We're going to get a brand new body. Do you hear me? A body that say the Bible says it's going to be just like Jesus' body. Ain't that something? That's mind-blowing. We can't even wrap our mind around that. And then for those who didn't repent, they're going to be taken over. Oh, yes. Yes, they is. Oh, they are. And do you know when one goes to hell, they're given a body of destruction? And see, people don't know what that means. When it says destruction, it means a body that keeps getting destructed over and over and over and over and over and over and over for eternity. 
Yes, see, folks ain't learning the right thing about the second death, which is hell and hell's fire. They don't know. They don't know because if they knew, oh, if they got a clear understanding, it's not going to be no party. Ain't going to be no orgies and sexing and drinking and throwing it back and twerking and drinking and carrying on. Ain't going to be no celebration and no hell's fire. And you know who going to be celebrating? The demons, the dark ones. Hasatan. Now they going to have a party. They going to have a party on your tail. Let me tell you all something. Hell ain't what you want. No, and you know what's so sad? The Lord didn't make hell for mankind. Show sure didn't. In the Bible, in Revelations, it says, I did not make hell for mankind, but for Satan and his angels. But if you want to go, you can go, but you'll never be able to say the Lord put you there. You put yourself in hell. Just like if folks get left behind in this tribulation. Oh, Jesus didn't leave you. You left him. And you know who glad about it? You know who glad that folks is carrying on like monkeys and jackasses? Oh, they are jumping around in church acting like buffoons. Oh my sister Erica, that video is so embarrassing. And you know, I'm gonna be real. I said I'm gonna be real. We all did it. Just about and, it, and not just folks of color. White folks have done it, jumping around thinking that's the Holy Ghost. That ain't no Holy Ghost. It's a ghost, all right. It's a spirit. That's not real. That's not of the Lord. Oh no, it's not. Now can you get happy? And leap for joy, amen. But that 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 bucking like a dog on jackass. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That's not the Holy Spirit. That's another spirit, you all. I will never carry on like that again in my life. And I tell you, we always taught so much buffoonery, so much foolishness is unbelievable. It's, we was ignorant. We didn't know. But today, you're going to be acting like that today. You know you've never come into truth because his name is Jesus. If you have Jesus, by now, you know that's foolishness. You know that's buffoonery. And I'm not talking about leaping for joy and saying, glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I'm not talking about that, you all. Oh, no, the Bible says, oh, clap, clap your hands. It says, dance before the Lord. That's not no dancing. You all, that is foolishness. And I'm telling you the stuff I've been seeing about these mega pers mega persons, mega pastors, Leroy Thompson. You all and he right in there with the Copelands, because they the one brought him on. Creflo Dollar, all of them, all of them. It's a mess, you all. It's a mess out here real bad. Uh, you all, let us deal with this stuff. Let's deal with it while yet we have a, I mean, I will dare say this, because I know that I know. Listen, I don't know. I know that I know I don't know, but I don't know, but I know. <laughs> Listen to me. If we make it into 2024, you all, I am going to be utterly shocked. Shocked. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Well, what's going on to the M, to the I, to the D, D, L, E, to the capital E, A, S, T? Ain't no way. That thing is going to get more intense and more, I mean, it's going to get, you know, it's going to get so bad to they use an N to the U to the K to the E. Once that happened, before that happened, now we might be here to see one or two. We don't know, but I don't think so. I really don't believe that. I believe when that is ready to pop off, 
we go up. I said we go up. Yes, I believe that, you all. I really do. So anyway, you all, whoever is ignoring what's going on right now and talking about they are Christian, you can tell they don't read their Bible. Mm -mm. You know they don't know Jesus. They ain't got the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit would be, ooh, it would have such an alarm going off in your spirit, man. Even in your soul, even in your heart, it would be telling you. It would be telling you, press in, draw closer to the Lord, make right your wrongs, do right by people, go and tell people that you've done wrong, ask them to forgive you, go on and make peace, go on and be the peacemaker for the Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of God. No. You know what they're doing? They having chitch. They shouting and bucking and hucking, spitting and slinging oil all over folks' clothes. They is acting like jackasses. Yup, I'm gonna keep saying it. Bucking around like donkeys. Yeah, they not even smart as that donkey that rebuked that prophet. They should get smart as that jackass. They should be like the jackass that Jesus rode, that donkey. That's the kind of jackass we want to be. The one that Jesus can ride. You all, if you don't come out of those religious sectors, those religious systems, it's not going to end well for you. Because mm -mm. mm -mm. the Bible said, like priests, like people. So with that said, I'm finna get off of here and go lay my soul and my body down because I'm exhausted. I really am. Yep, you guys pray for me. Yes, indeedy. And you know what? Let me tell you all something. I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna be done. I'm not ashamed for asking for help. Nope, I'm not. I'm not. And, uh, if folks can send people like Creflo, Jesse Duplantis, who said he was close, so close to being filthy. He said, I'm so close to being filthy. And for me to ask for help to get clothes for my son because I'm in need, I'm not ashamed of that, you all know. I'm not ashamed at all. I've worked all my life all since I was 14 years old. So the Bible says if, if someone is in need, we are to help a brother or sister if it's in our power to help them. So no, I'm not ashamed. So anyway, you all, God bless you all. I pray you guys press in because when I tell you it's over, it's over. The Lord could come right now. He could come in a few days. He could come in a week. He could come at the end of this month. Now he can wait until the ball in New York City, Times Square, fall. Oh, yes. And that's what that precious little girl saw. More and more, I'm believing that. For some reason, I don't know why, but more and more, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm in such pain. My whole, mm, 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 mm. more and more, you all, I'm believing that look that little prophetess, Catherine. Yep, and now he could come before that. He really can, but um, you can tell they know that he's coming to the elite. The shadow, G to the O to the V, the 13 bloodline. Yep, they know. They know that he coming. And guess who don't know? Christians. Ain't that something? Satan's seed knows that Jesus' word is good, is, is better than gold. It's not good as gold, it's better. But for the sake of saying, it's good as gold tried seven times as silver. Oh, it's, it's a done deal. 
and even they know it is. And here you got Christians talking about, oh, we got another 20 to 50 years. Oh, we got, we got time. And even the demons know that this time as we know it, it's up. And you know that demons know, Hasatan knows, oh, all the wicked entities, they know. And here you got pastors ain't talking nothing about the rapture, not even about the end times, not even about the book of Revelation. And you say, why do you think that's so? They don't want y'all to stop giving y'all money, your money, money, money. Yeah, they don't want you to do that. And guess what? Oh my, their souls are going to be required of them for what they have done. You know, the Bible says that they make merchants of my people. And did you all hear that? Who? The false teachers and preachers and prophets and evangelists and apostles. They're making merchants of his people. And instead of them telling you, y'all, let's get to this altar. Let's repent. Let's have a shut-in. They don't even have them shut-ins no more. Prayer vigils? No, they don't have them. Mm -mm. You would think they would be calling the entire church to pray for Israel. Do you hear me? No. It's the, but they telling you God care about that money. Putting it on God. Ain't that I'll never forget somebody. I couldn't believe the man said it. I I was blown away, you all. He said the Bible talks about money more than anything. You all, can you but yep, yep, I said. Well, 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 well. You all listen to me. The Bible cares about your soul. You want to know what the Bible talks about more than money? <laughs> your soul in hell. Did you know that the Bible talks about more about hell than heaven? But they don't tell you that. They not telling you that the Bible talks more about hell than about a lot of things in the Bible. But it definitely talks more about hell than heaven. And they not even telling you nothing about the fear of God. I never hear them say, folks, we need the fear of God. No, I don't hear them saying we need to repent. We need to come to the altar. They got folks call themselves teaching, called to teach and preach. And God knows they lying, they lying, they never lie so much. They're lying. And ain't it something, excuse me, ain't it something you already, but see, no, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know why they keep on letting people teach and preach that wasn't called to do it? Let me tell you why. Because they themselves have fallen from the grace of God. They're reprobate, their, their conscience is seared. And the Bible said the people heap, heap up uh, teachers, uh, they that have itching ears, they heap up teachers. And you know, the brother taught me when it says itching ears, it means they don't, they no longer endure truth. They don't endure true doctrine. They want, they heap up teachers that will tell them pleasant things. They don't want to hear about being rebuked, repenting of their sins, humbling themselves, the fear of God. No. And I used to say heap, I used to say, why does it say they heap up teachers for themselves? Because they have itching ears. That mean their ears don't long to hear the truth. Their ears want to hear pleasant things. You get a car. You get a husband. They like being prophesied to. They want to hear what they want to hear instead of what thus saith the Lord. You all, I'm telling you, that's not the gospel of the living God of Israel. That is not Yeshua and the Holy Spirit of the Almighty Yahweh up in these brick and mortars. You all better run like the gingerbread man. And you better hurry up and run. 
Anytime a pastor is not preaching on repentance, righteousness, holiness, you think that that's a man or a woman of God? You all, I'm finna go lay down. It's unbelievable. It's, and don't forget why old brother Anthony broke it down to a science. You know why they can't talk about repentance and teach against homosexuality, bisexuality, orgy, swapping wives, swapping husbands? I'll tell you why. 501c3. That's why. That is their God. All you got to do is find out if your church is 501c3. And if they are, you that's not the church of the living Yahweh of Israel. That's not the church of the living Christ. No way does the Holy Spirit dwell in them leaders. And he sure don't show up in them brick and mortar places called churches. You better get out. You better, their God is the G to the O to the B. Do you hear me? Mm -mm. Anyway, you all, I love you. God bless and keep you. I'll be back on as soon as I can with another teaching. Oh, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Love you all. Let's deal with it.